Hi, and thanks for joining us today at this Photonics Plus virtual exhibition and conference. And thank you for joining this talk titled The Future is Bright, a glimpse into the crystal ball of photonic design automation. And I'm Chris Maloney, Director of Business Development at VPI Photonics. And before I get into the talk, I'd like to just give a, an introduction to VPI Photonics and uh, where we believe in empowering you to define the cutting edge. And we've been doing this internationally for over 20 years by providing photonic design and analysis software that is integrated, interoperable, and it's industry leading. So we have an integrated simulation uh, techniques for devices, components, and systems in a single design environment. Our software is in interoperable with a number of our third party partner software um, such as Python, MATLAB, or Keysight ADS, and more, as well as with test and measurement equipment. And we're always seeking industry-leading solutions um, through forward-looking industrial research collaborations, uh, which I'll talk a little bit more uh, in detail in this presentation. And our flagship solution is VPI Photonics Design Suite, which integrates both transmission design and component design in a single user interface. At the component level, uh, we have tools for fiber-based devices and for photonic integrated circuits, where we actually provide access to PDK model libraries for a number of the photonic foundries. And each of these components that are developed at the component level can then be used with VPI transmission maker optical systems for full optical transmission system simulation, complete with models for uh, transmitters, optical fibers, receivers, as well as with DSP blocks and even for uh, QKD uh, models. And we also have solutions at various levels of abstraction. So at the highest level, uh, link engineering for automated equipment placement and cost optimization of networks, and at the lowest level for devices to provide simulators for uh, waveguides and fibers. So I have to confess, I don't actually have a crystal ball, but what I want to do in this talk is share with you some of the forward-looking projects that we're working on at VPI Photonics, because the best way to predict the future is to invent it. And this quote has been attributed to a number of scientists and management experts over the years. So this is not my own personal quote. So how are we actually helping to invent the future? And, and I'll talk about a few things. The first in optical systems and networks, I'll discuss uh, electrical optical co-design as well as quantum key distribution, what we're doing there. And then for photonic integrated circuits, I'll discuss PDKs that we support as well as um, some application specific picks. Starting with VPI transmission maker optical systems, we can analyze system level metrics like OSNR, bit error rate, and TDEQ to evaluate component performance, compare technologies, and optimize systems all for applications um, shown on the right here, such as microwave photonics or DWDM, core, metro, short reach systems. And specifically within data centers where optics continue to replace copper links, there is a growing need for electrical optical co-design and simulation. So with our partners at Keysight, we've developed the industry's first electrical optical electrical workflow or EOE where Keysight ADS dynamically communicates with VPI Design Suite. This allows the optical engineer to design the optical link shown here in ADS and, and, then, and then pass off his or her uh, work to the electrical or systems engineer. Looking at the optical link in this case, you can see the optical spectrum for each of the four DFB lasers. There are also four modulators that need their bias and peak-to-peak -peak voltages optimized due to the nonlinear and wavelength dependent uh, transfer function of the modulators. And in addition, the optical engineers should take into account important link effects um, coming from the laser or the fiber, all made possible with VPI design suite. Now with the optical link setup, 
the full link can then be simulated in ADS. And here you can see the PAM4 electrical driving signal, the signal after it passes through PPI design suite, so after the optical link, and then uh, before and after equalization. And then based on metrics like bit error rate or TDEQ of the entire link, we can then optimize both electrical and optical par parameters of our system. Now moving to quantum key distribution, we recently released VPI Toolkit QKD as an add-on to VPI Transmission Maker Optical Systems. Now this model library addresses uh, QKD system design and coexistence scenarios where we can account for things like component imperfections, optimize system parameters, and estimate the secret key rate. And there's an example here on the left that shows a coexistence scenario of adding a quantum channel to an existing 16 QAM coherent system. And the evaluation of the resulting optical spectrum is shown here. So this is just one, one small example of, of what you can do with this uh, model library. Now our VPI component maker photonic circuit tool allows for the design and simulation of next generation photonic integrated circuits. And that includes both active and passive devices shown here. And this tool provides fast and accurate pick design to study design alternatives or optimize circuit parameters and uh, perform sensitivity analysis. To support the PIC ecosystem, the 2020 Integrated Photonic Systems Roadmap gave a call to action to all EPDA vendors to improve the maturity of foundry PDKs. And we're actually working very closely with a number of foundries uh, shown here on the left, as this requires an orchestrated effort between both foundries and software vendors. Um, so you can actually see the, the PDK that we've uh, put together within Finera. And so in these partnerships, we are implementing design process and te test information into those PDKs, which we can then use our software for design for manufacturing purposes to improve things like yield and cost for your next generation pick ideas. To give an example, using the Lionix PDK, we can design an OCT system shown here. And we can use the PDK building blocks to create a schematic and simulate the circuit to see how your pick operates. And we can do that with built-in and customizable analysis tools, which allow for application specific performance analysis. And in this case, we can actually simulate the image of the OCT scanned object after being processed by the PIC. And in addition, we actually provide automated uh, export to third party layout tools, some shown here. Um, and that allows for GDS file generation once you're ready to fabricate the device. With more complicated PICs, such as this 2D beam scanning device for LiDAR applications, detailed circuit simulations can be represented in a compact circuit simulation using hierarchical design principles to manage the system complexity. So you can actually see the design on the right will look more like what the actual layout looks like but the schematic on the left using graphical representations for series and parallel structures give the same simulation result. So as mentioned in the previous example for application specific picks, analysis flexibility is very important. And in this case, Python co-simulation is actually used for a completely customized analysis showing the beam scanning coordinates depending on both the heater currents, and laser tuning. The last application example that I just want to mention is our support of plasmonic and photonic neural networks. And that comes from our contribution as a partner in the Plasmoniac project. And if you want to learn more about this, we will be putting on an OSA webinar next week about automated PIC modeling, uh, using a photonic neural network use case. And so check out the news section on our website to find the registration link for that. 
As mentioned in the beginning, I don't actually have a crystal ball, but with our forward-looking developments, we can help you to invent the future. So for optical systems, that may be with our EOE workflow to develop high-performance products in the data center, or with our QKD model libraries. And then using Foundry PDKs, we can help you to invent future application-specific picks, um, specifically for data and telecom or healthcare, automotive, and more. And I'd like to thank you for your attention, invite you to visit our virtual booth within the exhibition, where I look forward to having a chat with you. Okay, thank you.